what's good YouTube so right now I just bought me a Mountain Dew white label I've had the Mountain Dew black label it is quite delicious I'm out and about riding my chopper what's up <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you, thank you. What is good? What's good? Uh, how we doing, Casper? <laughs> what you been up to, man? Um, I just bought one of these, but we tried it for the first time. All right, man, cool. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, yeah. I see ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people recognize me from my YouTube. That dude was like, King Cobra, dude, what up? I see you riding around on your bike. <laughs> yeah. No, but this, this bike right here, This is a three-speed rat fink. Yeah. This is a, a rat fink chopper. And um, I repainted it, obviously. Including the bulb on the horn. And uh, here, there's the horn right there. Yeah. I wasn't knocking the original paint job on this bike, but I took some uh, can spray paint and I did the paint job myself and the black and green combination. <coughs> Excuse me, the black and green combination looks sick. Alright y'all. Mountain Dew White Label. Damn. Also I got some pipe tobacco to review when I get back to my apartment. Oh, I could just review it right here, right now. But let me crack open this white label first. Hmm. Right off the bat, I'm looking at the inside of the can and the liquid definitely looks white. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. That is noise. Mountain Dew hooked it up again with another straight winner in these streets. Oh, damn. Oh, diddly damn. YouTube, if you've not tried Mountain Dew White Label, you are missing out right now. I mean, shit, this, is, this, this soda right here is in a category all its own. Now, I like Mountain Dew Black Label, I have for a minute. And this Mountain Dew White Label, yeah, Mountain Dew White Label, it's been out for a minute. And I've been wanting to try it, do a review for YouTube, and yeah, there we go. That is all right. Crafted Tropical Citrus. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah. You could do some tasty drink combinations with this sound bitch, I'll tell you what. All right, now I'm chilling out over in North Casper, just riding around on my bike, and uh, I'd stop by a loaf and jug and pick up a new lighter, because the one I have is about to die. Never hurts to have an extra one, right? Got, um, these black and green spots they got this black and green spots on the can I'm not sure what that's all about yeah but pretty much Mountain Dew white label check out the logo we got black green and white with silver um, the can design looks pretty sharp but uh, yeah this is uh, this is good stuff YouTube I'm digging it
let's uh, I'm gonna walk my bike around to the front of the loafing jug here so that I can chug this and then once I chug this I want to fucking throw the can away and then we'll do a little bit of pipe tobacco review here or try to the wind will cooperate but when you're so famous on YouTube that random people will see you riding around on your bike are like King Cobra dude you're awesome I love your videos yeah <laughs> uh. Jug YouTube. Uh, I know for a fact that my homeboy Scott is not happy about it, but Loaf and Jug is no longer going to carry Citrus Drop because the company that makes Citrus Drop is not happy with Loaf and Jug right now. The Loaf and Jug company owes the company that makes Citrus Drop. A little bit of money and they're like we're not having it so yeah that is delicious so uh, yeah now which one do I like better Mountain Dew black label or Mountain Dew white label that's pretty tough because they're both good you know Oh, look at the doggy. Hello, big doggy. Oh, it's a Great Dane. I love Great Danes. They're so cool. Oh. <laughs> Is that your Great Dane? Huh? Is that your Great Dane? Uh, oh. <laughs> pretty, though. Oh, yeah. Who's there? Hey, pretty bud. Oh. YouTube, I love dogs, man. And Great Danes are cool. <laughs> Is that your Great Dane? Oh, it's a beautiful dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got, okay, I got to say hi. Hey, bud. Oh. Who's up, big doggy? Who's a Scooby-Doo looking dog? Okay, Scooby-Doo's not white, but there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. He's letting me he's letting me know YouTube. <laughs> Aww. I love Great Danes, they're so cool. You're a big puppy. Can I go inside the store? Yeah? <laughs> I don't think they want you inside though either. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna go in. Okay. Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Pretty looking dog, I tell you what. Big old. It looks like it might be a great Dane Dalmatian mix. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that dog was letting me know hey, buddy, don't pet me. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure if I would have gotten a little personal time, like if the dog would have got to know me a little bit, it would have been cool with me more than likely. But, you know, that dog's waiting for his, waiting for her owner to get out and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. That's more than likely a Great Dane. I don't know about the Dalmatian mix part, but yeah. I'll tell you what's a cool looking dog, you two. Winer Miner Blue Grey Dane mix. Yep. Uh, Winer Miner Blue Grey Dane mix is basically called a um, Blue Grey Weemir. Um, yeah, they're cool looking dogs, you know. I mean, Great Danes are cool, but they have a lot of problems with bad hips when they get older. 
and uh, well, crossbreeding a Great Dane with a Weiner Miner actually eliminates a lot of the problems that Great Danes get when they're older. Actually, I'm thinking it might be too windy for this um, pipe tobacco review, so I'll do it when I get home. Uh. But yeah, right now I'm sipping on a Mountain Dew Black Label. I mean, blah, white label. My bad. See what I did there? Got the two mixed up. Man. But yeah, we got Mountain Dew White Label Crafted Tropical Citrus. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the uh, Mountain Dew White Label, this gets the King Cobra JFS seal of approval. This is um, sugary caffeinated goodness right here. When I first tried it, I'm like, that, that tastes kind of tropical tasting, you know? And then they look, look at the can, and I'm like, oh yeah, there you go, sure as shit. There are some people out there, YouTube, that dislike Ford for some odd reason. They're all Chevy and Dodge fans, but the thing they have to realize is that if Henry Ford didn't have his assembly line with his Model T, he wouldn't have all these cars in mass production today. I can almost guarantee it. Whether you like Ford or not, YouTube, Henry Ford's Model T assembly line basically revolutionized the way cars are manufactured today. So, there you go. And Model T's are sweet. I don't care what anyone says. Nothing wrong with a good old Tin Lizzy YouTube, I tell you what. I was at a uh, hot rod show when I was a lot younger one time. And, um, and um, when I was at this hot rod show a long time ago, uh, there was a gentleman who had a 1915 Model T coupe. And uh, I think the top folded down. And he asked me, he says, you want to crank this? I'm like, oh yeah, I'll give it a try. Couldn't do it. <laughs> when you crank a Model T, you literally have to push the crank in, and, like you, you push it in, lock it into place, and and then you turn it one way and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, mm. But yeah, YouTube, starting a Model T back in the day was dangerous. You could break your wrist if the crank spun backwards because the car backfires. So, yeah. Break your wrist starting your own car, could you imagine? Ugh. No, could you imagine, YouTube, if it was winter time and you, you, you're... And you, it's winter time, you can't just call your boss and say, hey, my Model T won't start, I'm gonna be late for work, you know what I'm saying? You can't call your boss, it's winter time, your car's not starting, 
and you're freezing your ass off trying to get your Model T started, and then you crank it and you break your wrist doing it. Model T Mondays. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously. Yeah. Shit, I wouldn't mind driving a Model T YouTube. about Model T's though YouTube is they got three pedals on the floor and they're not for what you think they normally are. You know most cars have the, the gas on the floor but the acceleration on a Model T is on the steering column. <sighs> Damn I'm almost ashamed to say that that can is empty. Actually, hold on a second, YouTube. I'll throw the empty can away. Hmm. Actually, if I set the camera down, I might better load my pipe up with some tobacco. Okay, hold on a second. Look at that YouTube, that right there is seven ounces of McCherry pipe tobacco from McKinland Avenue. Yeah. This this right here is some good cherry pipe tobacco YouTube. I had a bowl of it earlier. That truck sounded noise. It's very, very nice. Alright, make sure your bag is sealed before you put it away, obviously. You don't want to be spilling your tobacco everywhere. I paid like 20 bucks and 9 cents for this bag of tobacco, so. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? All right, so check this out. We got a little pipe tobacco in there. Let's see if we can get this bastard lit. I'm gonna sit on my bike here. get this tobacco lit in this wind. <sighs> I might have to turn the opposite direction of the wind to get this going. <sighs> Hold on a second.
that uh, that wind likes to fight me, doesn't it? <laughs> nah, but I will get this damn pipe lit, YouTube. I am determined. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, McKinland Avenue McCherry pipe tobacco is the bee's knees, YouTube. It has a wonderful cherry aroma. <coughs> Excuse me. And also a very sweet cherry taste to it. Mm. <coughs> oh shit. I'm still fighting off that mild cold that I had. I'm pretty much down to just blowing my nose and coughing every now and then. But other than that, you know, whatever I had is pretty much gone. I um, purchased this tobacco from uh, pipesandcigars.com. I ordered it last week and they confirmed my order Monday and it got here today. So like it took four days to get to my apartment, but it was totally worth it. people ha ha but yeah that's uh that's good pipe tobacco YouTube that smells really nice I like that <sighs> however if you order tobacco online you must be 21 years of age or older I know it's stupid because Technically, you're 18. If you're 18 years of age or older and everywhere except the state of California, you can pretty much buy tobacco. But the reason why online tobacco shops make sure that you're 21 years of age or older, even though tobacco law is pretty much 18 for the most part, the reason why is because, you know, a lot of pretty much every tobacco website thinks that um, if they make their product, for people 21 years of age or older that um, there's less likely that a minor will get a hold of it. And really that's the only reason that uh, tobacco websites want you to be 21 years of age or older when you order tobacco from their website. You know, it's to ensure that minors aren't getting a hold of tobacco and shit. Well, YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with a drink and tobacco review. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I wouldn't really call it a cold because whenever I got it, my nose was really stuffed up and I've been blowing my nose and, like crazy. 
and the coughing used to be really bad, but now the coughing from that mild cold that I caught seems to be slowly but surely going away. Oh shit, my pipe went out. But that's all right. Um, anyways, yeah, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with another drink and tobacco review. And I'll catch you cool cobras later.